Hey guys, I am Nishant. Welcome to Cybernetico. So today in this video, we will learn how to add authentication using Google and GitHub. So first thing we need is a React app that we already have here. Some styling into buttons that you can already create. Now we need to install Firebase. So npm i Firebase install this package. Then head over to Firebase and create one project here. Go to authentication, click sign in method. Here we will have to choose two methods which are Google. So enable this and save. Second one is GitHub. So let's wait for this to finish. Then add new provider, click GitHub here. So it takes two things called client ID and client secret. And it is returning as a callback URL here that we need to paste in github. So go to this website or you know github.com, click settings, developer settings, auth apps and one create one new auth app. So let's say fire auth. It is the homepage URL type localhost 3000 and the callback URL this URL here. Copy this but first okay just copy this and put this here by registered application. So you see it is returning as a client ID here. So paste the client ID in this field here. Then we have a client secret. We need to generate a client secret here. So generate a client secret and then copy the secret and put this here. Then we need to save this like this. So save it. It has been saved now. Fine. So our things in the GitHub is now done. We need to just add authentication here. But I forgot to do one more thing here. So head over to overview and create a new project here for web, a new application. So this should be, let's make it anything. So let's say fire auth, name it. We don't need this tab now and this tab so we have already installed firebase we all we need all this data here so copy this then create one new file here called fire okay firebase config dot js and put this all the files or config data here name of the comments clean this and export this app here so export const app then simply import this app in our app.js. Now we can add authentication here. So this should be Firebase config and here we need the app. Now let's add authentication here. So continue to console. Fine. So let's import a few things from Google or Firebase authentication. So first let's add Firebase then auth specify the destination import then we need uh, Google of provider for Google GitHub of provider for GitHub so let me break this down then third is get auth here and the fourth thing we need is sign in with pop-up so we will have a pop-up here to sign in with Google and github so just say const let's create a function for google sign up so let's say google sign sign up fine then we need this so we need to specify a provider first so say const google provider equal to new google or provider Google Auth provider, fine. Then we needed this also to so create one authentication constant auth equals to get auth. Get auth. Now we can use authentication using this auth. Now we have this sign in pop up. So we will use it here and we will just say auth, we will pass auth and 
google provider as parameters then we will record the response so let's say it takes a response from the incoming request then we need to console.log to check what we get back response this part is not necessary we can skip it but let's see what we get then we need to add the function to this button of google so say on click google sign up open the console now console okay it's open click google here button so we will see a pop-up i am seeing and you will be seeing this also and if i sign in click my email here we will see all the data here you see app js 15th line we are getting the response which contains all the data so let's filter out the user inside the response so if we try again sign in again we will see our as we are getting access token display name my name my email that we that i used to sign in photo url phone number is null i think because i don't have phone number in my email account all this data here email is verified we have auth here so this is not important the important thing was this google authentication sign up now let's see how to use github provider here so we will do the same thing like previously we did so we need to create a function here so const let's say uh, 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 google sorry github github sign up fine let's make it an add a function like before then we will just use this sign in with pop-up function wait then it will take auth like before and this time github provider or github sign up wait a second okay we need to create one constant for github provider so this should be let's make this git a provider and they should be new github provider github provider fine then we will pass this github provider constant in this sign in with pop-up then we will record the data like before response response console.log we will say response dot data or it's user not data so make this as a user now we need to add the function to this button so on click github sign up now let's try open the console first and click github button here it will open up a pop-up like before you can't see but i can see and you will also also see if you have done all these things properly that i did so you see we are getting all this data here from github display name email phone number null photo url all this data and here we have a we have two methods provider okay so you already know this but in this users tab you will see my first email is used in github and second email is used in google what if we try to use same email for both google and github we will get an error let me show you so we need the catch block so it will catch the error so say error let's console.log this error dot code or let's just console.log this error okay, if i add code here this should work and here as well sign in with google again but with same email we will use same email as this github so let me use this hmm it is working i guess because okay it is overriding the first email 
but if we access github using same email you will see it will not work if i sign into github you see we are getting the error of auth account exists with different credentials because we already have credentials here if we delete both of them or one of them then try to sign in with github click github button here this will work and you see it is working now and here the auth email is from github provider is github you see so that was all that was all about how to create how to integrate google and github auth in your application react application so i am now logging out now you can build awesome apps with these both two authentications or not okay